Do you have an older RV with these storage compartments on the outside and these latches just aren't keeping it shut anymore? Oh my God, look at that, it's busted. We're gonna, today we're gonna fix this thing. Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Tiny Industrial and this is my RV. And today I'm gonna show you real quick how to fix one of these latches in case they're broken. All right, so the issue with this particular latch is it's busted on the back and uh, there's no more like little metal prong. This is what it's supposed to look like. This little bar, this little metal piece slots into the inside of the frame and holds your storage compartment door shut. And we have a lock one in here in the middle. You may have two or three, whatever. If you have an older RV, you definitely have some of these on, your, uh, on the exterior of your unit. This one's falling apart to the point where this thing, this pin, twisty pin thing just pops right out. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this little mechanism out and replace it. You need to get yourself one of these thumb locks. And that's uh, the assumption is that you're not looking to lock this particular uh, thing because you maybe still have a functional lock or you just don't care. Uh, if you know, you're not keeping any valuables in there, you don't need it to lock. But yeah, you need one of these. And then we're just going to take this, um, oh, look at that. Just no tools required. I was caught, caught a little off guard by that. This uh, nut right here just spins off the back. And then on the, f oh man, look at that. It couldn't be any easier. This whole cylinder pops out, right? So it's got these threads on the outside. And uh, we're going to replace it with this one. This might be one of the shortest videos I ever do. I do a lot of these videos on RVs and tiny houses. But yeah, this is the replacement one. They give you two of these middle bars, right? So one is if you have sort of a thin door and thin frame. This is a little bit of a thicker door and thicker frame. So they give you this one, which has this little bend in it. And that'll allow you to come out a little bit further. So I believe that this is going to be the one that we want. And the way to loosen that up is just to simply uh, take a screwdriver to the um, screw that's back here. We're going to swap out this piece. We're going to do that after we push uh, this uh, cylinder through. So either way, this piece has to come off. Now, if you uh, weren't as lucky as I was by just sort of hand spinning that off of there, you could use one of these puppies and um, and get the uh, the nut off of the cylinder in that fashion. So it'd be good to have one of these. Like I said, we take this little screw off of here. And this piece comes right off. And we're replacing it with this one. We're going to push the cylinder through the existing mounting point. God willing. That's through there. Okay, so the post is through there. We put this lock ring on there. Alright, so it was pretty much at that point that I realized that I had purchased the wrong part. Because what happened was, is when I took this part that I had initially had and pushed it here through this door, I realized that the thread barely made it onto the other side of the door. Now, what I didn't realize is that they make these pieces uh, in different lengths. And what I should have done is taken out the original and seeing that versus that. Oh, come on, get there, focus. So you can tell that um, that is clearly a very different size. Sorry, I'm holding it the wrong way. There we go. It's shorter and you don't want that. So what we wanted was this one. And thanks to Amazon, they didn't, uh, I asked for a refund on this. They made, didn't make me send it back. Very nice of them, thank you. And instead, I purchased this one, which is actually a hair longer than the one that was in there. Now, the one that I bought is a, ooh, what is it? A one and three eighths, I wanna say. I can make that work. Now, to pay it forward, the one that I bought that didn't fit, if you have a thinner door, 
I'm happy to send that to you. Drop a note in the comments and say that you'd like to have that to fix your RV. And in that way, hopefully I'm paying it forward a little bit and helping somebody else out. See, so there we go. So now it's just a matter of figuring out whether we need to, you know, just stay flat with, uh, with it right here. We can actually do that by comparing it to this side. So on this side, there's about a finger's width gap in between uh, the metal piece and the, um, and the door, which means that when this door is fully closed, there's like a little lip down there at the bottom. And this is the gap that needs to be created. So the flat piece is gonna be a little bit too little. So we're gonna go with, yeah, perfect. We're gonna go with using this and uh, we're gonna use it going out a little bit. So let's put that on there. So that's the closed position. So that should put this thing right there. But first let's get this uh, nut on there. That'll hold the whole thing in place. And I am getting bitten by mosquitoes. We just had a hurricane roll through here. All right, there we go. Now, for now, I'm just gonna hand tighten this. It's actually probably pretty much sufficient to hand tighten it. I mean, it's in there. And I am gonna get a screwdriver to put this into there. So, again, all you do is you just put this screw into the bottom of this thing. Oops, I just twisted it though. Mm. That's closed, that's open. Oh, closed, open. Now, let's see if that's actually going to work. So, that back one is closed. Now, will the front close? Yes, it will. There it is. So now we don't have this flapping up here anymore. And we're done. Yeah, and the only other thing I did is made sure that you know, for streamline and aerodynamics sake, that these are pointed in the direction of travel so as not to create unnecessary drag while it's driving. And, you know, you want them to be uniform. So in other words, you know, when this one, that's closed, that's closed, open, open. Make sure that you have the right length of post. And like I said, Drop me a note and I'll send out the one that I didn't use to anybody who could use this. If you want to check out some more of my videos, I'm doing a full remodel of this RV. One storage latch at a time. So if you enjoyed this, hit the like button, please. It helps me out a lot. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much. This is Chris from Tiny Industrial. Take care of yourselves.